going to be looking at what makes a someone a creator. How do they get on the ball? How do they perform at such a high level that things go through them? And it always seems to be them who's setting up the goals, scoring goals, or creating those opportunities to give your team the head start in the game. Two creators right in form at the moment are Aston Villa's Jack Grealish and United's Bruno Fernandes. They have talent in abundance and they can create opportunity after opportunity. But what actually makes these players stand out? One of the primary things is that first touch, getting the ball under control. These top players are able to control the ball in all manner of ways, making sure that they can keep it in the tightest of situations. So if we can get that first touch, every other opportunity becomes available. So we can work on that with some little passing drills off a wall and potentially moving the ball around a cone. Using the wall is a fantastic way of helping to develop that first touch. And as you can see here, we set up a square with four different colour cones. Have a teammate, parent or, or, or a fellow player call out a colour and then you need to try and receive the ball and dribble to that colour on their command. Now, what's key here is getting that scan and having that awareness to see where you need to go. And these top players are all aware of what's happening around them on the pitch. They're aware and that allows them to take a good first touch, putting the ball in the best position for themselves. Getting the ball under control while under pressure is a huge aspect of a creator and that's why we practice this first touch so much. The more that we can get our players on the ball, the more they'll create. So we want to make sure that when we do get it, we're effective. And once you have it, be productive. And by saying that, I mean actually let's do something with the ball. Lots of players sometimes get the ball and struggle. They'll just kick it clear because they're not sure what to do with it. If you can't find the pass, I think we should keep it. Now, in this situation here, ball mastery is a fantastic way of developing that. It teaches us to manipulate the ball and move it into different positions on both feet, which potentially allows us to create opportunities and move away from opponents. help players become more comfortable on the ball. And if they can't find the pass or be creative and find the opportunity at that moment, then we want them to try and keep it. And what we see with great players like Bruno Fernandes and Jack Grealish is that they're comfortable in keeping the ball when they're under a lot of pressure. And ball mastery can really help develop those players and get into a position where they keep it when they can't find that pass. So the more touches that we can take, the more that we can manipulate the ball and move it into different positions, the easier it will be for us when we get into matches and get playing. So some of these creative players like Jack Grealish are able to move the ball from a difficult situation and turn it into a positive by potentially beating an opponent or moving the ball into a quick little space that creates space for them to then find that pass. We now want to try and have an end product with plenty of good passing skills and opportunities and taking advantage of any shooting opportunities that come up, like players such as Kevin De Bruyne. Now, as we progress, have a look at this next practice. We're able to combine everything we sort of learnt here into one drill. So we want to combine and then we can go and develop. So first off, we start with a nice pass and developing that awareness with a quick check of the shoulder which allows us to come in and receive that ball on the back foot, so working on that first touch, and then move back into some ball mastery. Quick close control, moving it into a better position on both feet to then go and affect the game, keeping the ball if we can't find that pass initially. Again, we're really focusing on the technique of the pass, develop that as we progress with maybe outside of the foot passing or inside of the foot passing, but we wanna try and continue to practice all those areas of the game. And as we've done that, we can keep progress progressing, getting quality touches on the ball and developing all those areas that make creators good and effective in the game. And the end product of a shot is one of the key things that we want to get for a creator as well. So there's four main areas that we've looked at. Firstly, we want that to be clear with our first touch. We want to have a good first touch in all situations, so passing off the wall, making sure we're getting a good touch, being aware of what's around us is really important to developing. 
Then, once we have that ball, we need to keep it if we can't find the pass. So we practice our ball mastery and close control. This can be done through ball mastery drills or dribbling. And then the end product. Get practicing that passing and also the shooting so that we can affect the game with goals and assists. Thanks for watching guys and please feel free to like and subscribe.